Hinichiwa, hope everyone's good. So apparently we're going to get another storm coming in. About 80, 90 mile an hour winds. Heavy rain. So I thought it would be the perfect uh, opportunity to test out the Highlander Blackthorn and see how well it does in high winds and rain. So rain clouds are starting to come over. Wind's starting to pick up a bit. I've already got the Highlander pitched. So I mainly want to see if these attachment points are going to rip out in the high winds. So it should be a really good test. That's if we're going to get the wind to say the, that we're going to get. News reports are very rarely right. So last night was a complete fail, not with the tent. There was zero wind and zero rain. But uh, right now, there is rain clouds coming over and the wind is starting to pick up. So hopefully we're going to get uh, at least a heavy shower and a little bit of wind. So I've also decided I'm going to spend the night in the tent. So I've got the British Army Arctic sleeping bag in the German folding sleeping pad. Wind's starting to pick up now nicely. It's nearly 20 past 12. Wind's starting to pick up a bit. No rain yet. So we'll see what happens later on. Wind's starting to pick up though. I think it's about 3 degrees Celsius. It's toasty in this sleeping bag. Should get a good sleep. So all right, it's all looking good. So the only pr problem that I had was this zip keeps on moving up with the wind. And the wind was blowing this up and it was getting the velcro up like that. So it wouldn't stop the zip from riding up. There's about three or four times in the night that kept on doing that. I can't really stake that out. Because if I do that, I can't do it from inside the tent. And I wouldn't be able to get out if I did that anyway. Which is pretty good. So the wind speeds got up to about 20 to 30 mile an hour, with sudden gusts of about 30 to 40 mile an hour, which is just normal for this time of year. No damage to the Eyelets or anything. I doesn't really have eyelets, but the attachment points where the bungee cord goes in for the pegs, all intact, no problems, no ripping or anything. Unfortunately, there was no rain, so I didn't really get a chance to try that out. There was a bit of condensation inside the tent, though, which is expected. So the bottom of the seating bag got a bit damp, but the uh, had the uh, seating bag liner in it and it's bone dry, as was my feet. So it was okay, 
wasn't the test that I was hoping for. I was hoping 60, 70 mile an hour winds, but in heavy rain. But uh, my area of the UK is completely different to the rest of the UK. If they get snow, we get sun. Minus six somewhere down south. It's four degrees here. 20 miles away it could be minus seven and here it might be 12 celsius not a cloud in the sky and sunny but uh that's my video didn't really go as i really wanted it to but i got a bit of a test of how the tent handles some wind condensation is usual for that tent but uh that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. Kirimata. Arigato. Nasfredania. Alvida Zain. Bye bye.